Hey guys, welcome back to Bite Size Excel. In this short video, we're going to take a quick look at how you create a custom cell format within Excel. Now, Excel has a number of built in styles, these are found on the Home tab. And over in this styles box, so if we hit this little drop down menu, you'll see that there's a number of preset options. So for example, in data and model, we've got calculation, check cell, input, note, and so on and so forth. Now, while these preset options are useful, they may not match in with how you want your workbook to look. So for example, you might want these headings, but you might want them to look different. Now you've got two options here. You can either amend the options here or you can create a new cell style. So to amend these options, say for example, you want your calculations to look a particular way, but you don't like this format, you would right click, come to modify. And when you click on format, you can use all your normal formatting options to make the cell look the way you want it to. So for example, say I don't want orange text, I want it to be in red. And say I don't like the size, I want it to be slightly smaller and I don't want it to be bold. Click OK. And then if you click OK, you'll notice your calculation now looks different. Your second option is to create your own new cell style. So if we click in here, we've got the same options again. Click on Format. You can choose all your formatting options as to how you want your cell to look. You can also click if you want it to be hidden or not hidden. This can be quite useful when you're building a spreadsheet where you may need to lock or hide certain elements. And once you've changed it to look the way you want, we'll just pick a few random options here. I'll put an outside border on it. We'll change the color of our text. And we'll make it bold and italic. Um, we just center it in our cell and we want it to be in a number format just for argument's sake. We can also actually rename our style and when we click OK you'll notice that this cell style now appears here. So creating and editing the styles of your cells can be particularly useful if you're creating templates and you want all the workbooks that are going to be created off this template to look the same. It's quite a good idea to amend these so that they look in line with how you want them to look or potentially in line with the style that your company uses. And as I've said, if we click in and go to this protection tab, it can be particularly useful to have a play around with these locked and hidden options, particularly, for example, if you have a spreadsheet where you always want your formulas to be hidden once you lock your sheet. You could tick on this and if you want the cell locked, when you lock your sheet, as long as everything's formatted in that way, it'll automatically be hidden. And this can be a quick way of ensuring that your spreadsheet has the level of protection that you want so that people can't accidentally change things. So this has just been a very brief overview of cell styles and how you change them. Have a play around with it yourself. If you've got any particular questions, please do leave a comment down below. Remember to like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you on a future video.